Let's see what happens with ordinary people if they ignore these forces. The fastest people possess enhanced running skills and motor coordination, which allow them to reduce the negative forces that act upon their body during sprinting. There are mainly three forces that can make or break any runner. Gravity is the force that pulls you down, and based on Newton's third law of motion, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, the force that will push you into the ground will subsequently bounce back to propel you forward. But what propels you forward if you push downwards? Well, this brings us to the second force that is acting upon a runner's body. State of inertia, based on Newton's first law of motion. An object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by a force. As soon as you get up to speed from the starting blocks, you'll be moving toward the finish line at the same velocity. But for some reason, everyone inevitably slows down. It's because of the third force, friction, that messes up the whole running process. Friction is the stopping force. The moment you put the foot on the ground, a conflict will be initiated between your inertia velocity and kinetic friction. Friction will try its best to stop you, and your velocity will decrease due to a lack of acceleration. In the process of this turmoil, it's essential to let your feet spend as little time on the ground as possible to minimize friction and maintain a given velocity. Let's see what happens with ordinary people if they ignore these forces. Gravity always pulls the body down, friction stops it, inertia topples it and hits it against the ground. To overcome these negative forces, you should quickly reposition your legs to reduce friction and keep your body upright in order not to let gravity and inertia roll you over. Obviously, the same principles apply to sprinting. Hold your body upright, keep your feet coming down, and stay relaxed to the finish line. Yes, yes. But that would be too easy. Sprinters around the world, from amateurs to elite pros, challenge the laws of physics in every final. They either push backwards rather than downwards, which is the worst thing to do at high speed, or lean forward too early, letting the negative forces take control of their body, thus decelerating at a much faster rate. Well, at least everyone is in equal conditions, because almost everyone makes these mistakes.